back in the studio. Tim's not here. We're here with Liz Whitmer. We've got Beth in as a co guest co-host. I'm in Tim's chair. It freaks me out. I can't do it. Tim, you have to come do the show. She's doing it. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, Fine. like, come back. I mean, come back. It's your show. But she's fine. Um, she's fine. Uh, Liz has got some pretty exciting news about having a little project in. I don't know why I'm calling everything about you little. Like, oh, I loved your little bits well, on the all, detail. It's all very little. It's all very. It's fun. It's great. It's you said, you've pitched a project and yes. it like is starting to work its way into the development world. Yes, we uh, we are in development on a project called Hit on Me uh, with the Bell Fund, which is exciting because uh, it feels very legitimizing. <laughs> Somebody thinks we're good enough to make a thing. Um, so Hit On Me is about a pair of middle-aged assassins who okay, are fun. just coming to terms with midlife and wanting to settle down maybe and have a normal life, but they've been paid killers forever. <laughs> what so, else do you do? Yeah, how do you retire? <laughs> At that point, when the money's so good and you're actually kind of a sociopath, and it's you know, it's tough. And then on top of, of all of that kind of personal crisis stuff, um, there's a one of those mom is in a nursing home and she's in her last months and dealing with like the death of a parent, and suddenly they're put into a kind of a parenting position. A kid enters their life and they have to figure out how to balance killing people for money and being an empathetic role model for a child and I'm trying to juggle that stuff. So that's uh, that's one of the fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I like it. it. Yeah. yeah. Lots of murdering. <laughs> we murder a lot of people. I can do a corpse. I can play corpse. Yeah. I've done corpses. But murder for money is a higher class of murder. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And they're mostly like bad people. Exactly. It's not just like, very like angels gross, don't get hits put gross on Gross point blank meets Mr. and Mrs. Smith type of a vibe out There's of it. Just a little bit of yeah. that. We were we were also pitching it as um Dexter meets Louie. <laughs> That's even better. So like really deep into that midlife yes. sadness. So I mean like we're not supposed to talk about Louis C. K. anymore, but because yeah. of the mess. But he apologized. Yeah. Did he though? <laughs> no, I no, he didn't. Did you read his Not apology? Oh, it wasn't a fucking apology. Yeah, no. That was garbage. It was a garbage fire. Um, but yeah, so that was the. Flames! Human flames! The side of my face! Heaving! <laughs> Breathless vibes! Oh, oh gosh. In your rage! Um, so there's a there's a teaser out there in the world if anybody wants to go see it. It's on YouTube and Vimeo if you <laughs> just Google it. Hit on me. Hit on me. Hit on me. Teaser. Can we tag it? Sure. Oh, I mean, it's, there yeah. will be a new iteration of that teaser when we're done with the development process. All right. All right. Which is exciting. I I have not previously revisited a character in Fine. this way. So it's been two years since we shot the first one. Oh yeah. So it's oh, gonna be cool. interesting to come back. And play that character again. And play it with two years more experience than mm -hmm. you did. Well, I'm having lived with the story for that much longer, too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for finally worked it out. Yes. Thanks. I'm sorry for all the delays. Uh, You're for <sighs> Actors. We're the worst. So the worst. The worst. Um, I guess, what is it? Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> you Patreon, can... YouTube, SoundCloud. Holy moly. I know. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. And then follow these guys on a bunch of those yeah. things, too. You're not on Mastodon yet? Jesus, oh, there's a Mastodon? Mastodon? It's like the Twitter for people who don't want to be on Twitter. Why but do they just not be on Twitter? Why? 